Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how to use GNOME Classic. So as you can see, I'm using the normal GNOME desktop. I'm using Ubuntu in a virtual machine. And uh, this desktop works pretty well for most people, but it isn't nearly as lightweight as some would want. So if you're a fan of GNOME, but you want to use something a little bit lighter, but still modern, this is what you can do. So in this section of the video, I'm just going to briefly show you the packages you're going to need uh, for Ubuntu and how to install it. If you're using another distribution, I can't go over every single installation instruction out there. So please check the article that I wrote in the description. It goes over how to install GNOME Flashback and get access to GNOME Classic on virtually every distribution. Anyways, for Ubuntu, just do sudo apt install gnome flashback and you can also add an asterisk if you'd like and uh, <clears throat> that will ensure that this package and this package will get installed so once you've got it installed you can go ahead close the terminal go up to the application menu and click log out confirm that you're going to log out and it should take you directly to the GDM login screen. From there you can click on your username, click on the gear icon, and then locate GNOME Classic. Enter your password. GNOME will log right back in and you will be using GNOME Classic. You won't be using the traditional GNOME desktop. You'll be using something... it, it still does use the GNOME widgets and it uses a lot of the GNOME system and uh, it even has the activities overview mode but it's a lot more lean and uses less RAM. It, remind, it reminds me of the Mate desktop, except maybe a little bit more modern, has a lot of the same settings that you would come to expect in the same applications. So that's a super quick video, probably one of the quicker videos that I've made on how to get access to the GNOME Classic session on Linux. Please, please check the article in the description. In it, I go over how you can get access to it on a lot of modern Linux distributions. We just covered Ubuntu, but there are a lot of other ones that can get access to this one as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.